Hello, in this video we are going to have a look at how to calculate the nth term expression for a quadratic sequence. Uh, so we're following on from the previous lesson where we had a look at second differences of our quadratic sequences. And for the final task I asked you to have a quick look at uh, three different sequences. I asked you to pick n squared and 3n squared and then to pick one other n squared sequence yourself. So you might have picked something like 4n squared. Uh, so for n squared, so I've got one lot of n squared, you should have found that your second differences were 2, 2, 2 and 2. For your 3n squared, you should have found that your second differences were 6, 6, 6 and 6. And if you'd chosen 4n squared, you'd have got 8, 8, 8 and 8. Uh, what you should have noticed is that Whatever number I've got in front of this n squared, my second differences are twice as large. So I've got one lot of n squared, my second differences are 2, 2, 2. Uh, if I've got three lots of n squared, my second differences are 6, 6, 6. Four lots of n squared, I get 8, 8, 8. So this number here, my second difference, is always twice as large as this multiple of n squared. Right, how does that help me? if I'm going to try and work out nth term expression of a quadratic sequence like this one here. So the generic form of any quadratic sequence is going to look like this. It's going to have some multiple of n squared. It might have some sort of multiple of n and then a constant term on the end. It's got to have something n squared. If it hasn't got that, then it's not a quadratic sequence. It, most of the time it's going to have a bn and it's going to have a c but it doesn't have to, but you've got to have this a n squared um, term within the nth expression. So what are we going to do? Uh, we are going to start off by having a look at the first and the second differences. And the reason we're going to do that is if I can work out what those second differences are, I can work out what this value of a is, because I know that the second differences are twice as large as this value a, this number in front of my n squared. So let's give it a go. So what's my first difference? So the difference between 7 and 15 is 8. 15 and 17 is 12. And the difference between 27 and 43 is 16. The second difference is, so the difference between my differences, difference between 8 and 12 is 4. The difference between 12 and 16 is also 4. Remember, for this to be a quadratic sequence, my second differences need to be the same. If they're not the same, I haven't got a quadratic sequence. So second differences are 4. Remember that my number that's going to go in front of my a, in front of my n squared, my value a, is going to be half the value of this, this value here of 4. So my a equals 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 2. So I know that my value of a is 2. I need to half whatever those second differences are. So I'm part way there. What I've got so far is I know that my nth term expression starts off with 2n squared plus bn plus c. Don't know what the b is, don't know what the c is, but I'm part way there. I've got this 2n squared and I know what my terms of my sequence are. What am I going to do next? Well, I don't know what bn and c are, so I'm a bit stuffed with those really. Don't, nothing really I can do with them. But I do know what 2n squared is, so let's write that down. So 2n squared, remember I need to be really careful with my big mass rules, I need to square and then double. So when n is equal to 1, square it, 1, double it, value of 2. n is equal to 2, square it first, I get 4, then double it, I get 8 n is equal to 3, I'm going to square it, get 9, double it, get 18. 4 squared is 16, double it, I'm going to get 32. How does that help? Well, what I know now is that uh, 2 out of that 7 comes from this 2n squared term. So if 2 comes from this bit, the bit that's left, which is 5, must come from my bn plus c part of my expression. Uh, similarly, if I've got 15 and I take away 8, 
So the 8's come from the 2n squared. 15 take away 8 is 7. The 7 has to come from this linear, this bn plus c part of my expression. 27 take away 18 leaves me 9. And again, that 9 must come from this bn plus c. Do the last one, 43, take away 32, and that gives me 11. So these bits here have come from my 2n squared terms, so that's what I've calculated. The bit that's left when I take that away from my sequence must be my linear part. So see what we've done here, we've got the 2n squared plus bn plus c, worked out what the 2n squared terms are. So if I take this away from the original term, I'm just left with my linear expression bn plus c. Well, this is just a linear sequence. Uh, we've had loads of practice at working out what the nth term of a linear sequence is. We start by having a look at my first differences. Difference between 5 and 7 is 2. 7 and 9 is 2. 9 and 11 is 2. So this has got to be a 2n sequence. I'm starting at 5. So I reckon if n is 1, I'm starting at 2. I need to add another 3 on. So I reckon that that sequence here is described by the expression 2n plus 3. Actually there, I've got my expression, I know it starts off with 2n squared, so it's 2n squared, let's shift that up a little bit, so we can see it, plus my linear part, which is 2n plus 3. That is the nth term expression for this quadratic sequence here. Just when you like you're working out your nth term expression for your linear terms, do the same with your quadratic terms. Check your first term or two. Make sure it's correct. So if n is equal to 1, I get 1 squared, 1, doubled, it's 2. There's two lots of 1, that's 4, plus 3, gives me my value 7. If n is equal to 2, let's write that underneath. I've got 2 squared is 4. I've doubled it. I've got 8. I've got plus... 2 lots of 2, which is 4, and I need to add 3 on. 8 and 4 is 12, plus 3 is 15. It's really easy to make a mistake on these quadratic sequences. It's well worth checking at least the first term, preferably two terms, to make sure that your expression is correct. Uh, let's have a look at another example. So for this one, uh, we've got... Uh, our quadratic sequence 7, 17, 33 and 55 and we're going to start off by calculating our first and second differences so the difference between 7 and 17 is 10 difference between 17 and 33 is 16 difference between 33 and 55 is 22 uh, my second differences 10 and 16 it's going to be 6. difference between 16 and 22 is also 6. So it makes me confident that I managed to get my numbers right. Remember, for a quadratic sequence, these two numbers should both be the same. I know that this value, a, in front of my n squared, is going to be half my second differences. So my second difference is I want to take my 6, divide it by 2, that gives me 3. So my value of a is equal to 3. I know I've got some sort of 3n squared sequence. So I don't know what my bn plus c are, but it's 3n squared plus something n plus something, some constant, and, and that's going to be my nth term expression. If you panic with these questions when you're in the exam, always remember your first few steps. So work out your second differences. You're going to get a method mark by working out your second differences. If you can remember to divide by 2, you're going to pick it yourself up another method mark for calculating this value of a is equal to 3. The bit that we always forget is dividing by 2. Then remember what we need to do next. We need to work out what our sequence is for 3n squared so that we can take it away from our sequence and leave ourselves with a linear part. So 3n squared, if n is equal to 1, I'm going to square it first then multiply it by 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. 2 squared is 4, and multiply it by 3. 3 4s are 12. I've got 3 3s, so 3 squared, 
is 9 multiplied by 3 is 27 and then I've got 3 lots of 4 squared 4 squared is 16 16 times 3 let's write it down over here that's going to give me 48 3 16s are 48 you can use your calculator when the numbers get this large uh, they'll probably be coming through on a calculator paper uh, use your calculator don't do it in your head and make a mistake uh, right so I know that that 3 uh, out of my 7 has come from this 3n squared so the other 4 must come from my bn plus c so 7 take away 3 is 4 17 take away 12 is 5 33 take away 27 is 6 and 55 take away 48 is 7 so these parts these numbers here have come from my 3n squared if I take those away from my sequence the bit that I'm left with is my linear expression bn plus c well let's have a look at those differences we've got 1 1 and 1 so I know that this must be an n plus or minus something sequence. Well, my first term is a 4, uh, so I think I need to add 3. So if n is 1, add 3, I get my first term 4. n is 2, add 3, I get my second term 5. So my nth term expression for this quadratic sequence is going to be 3n squared. I worked out earlier. I need to add my linear term n plus 3, so plus n plus 3. Don't forget to write out your final expression. So you're almost there, you've got your 3n squared, you've got your linear terms, you just need to combine it into your 3n squared plus n plus 3. Remember we're going to do our check, so if n is equal to 1 we've got 1 squared uh, times 3, that's 3, plus n is 1, that's 4, plus another 3 is 7, n is 2, We've got 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. Uh, n is 2, we've got 2 here, plus another 3. So we've got 12 plus 2 is 14, plus 3, 17. And I'm confident that I've got my nth term expression correct. OK, it's your turn to get some practice. Uh, read through the email, you've got some instructions there. You have an exercise that's been set, give that a go. If you need some help, rewind the video, replay it, uh, start uh, and have another look at a couple of examples we've got here. Good luck.